Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I have more crochet tote bags for you. How cute are these Halloween crochet totes? We got a jack o' lantern, we have little Frankie Frankenstein, and we have a cute little black cat all using red heart super saver yarn i will have the written pattern on repeatcrafterme.com and a list of all the materials you need for this project uh, and here is a quick video tutorial on how to um, crochet the tote and i'm going to give you some pointers on the embellishments as well hope you have fun with these Okay, let's get started on our Halloween crochet tote. I'm gonna start by working on the jack-o'-lantern tote bag, just showing you the basic pattern right now. So you're gonna apply this to all of the other totes, but you will be changing color as specified in the written pattern. So I am holding two strands of my worsted weight yarn. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, so I have two strands in the orange and I'm gonna go ahead, this is my uh, size eye hook, and I'm gonna chain 31. So I'm making my slip knot, chain 31. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26 27 28 29 30 31 okay here's our starting chain now we are gonna make a single crochet right in that second chain from hook this is my first chain that's my second chain and you're gonna single crochet all the way down until you get to the last chain and in the last chain you're gonna make two single crochets Okay, here's my last chain. So make two single crochets. Okay, there we go. There's two single crochets. Now we're just gonna turn that around and now we're gonna work on the other side of the chain. So we're gonna do just as we did uh, on this side and we are gonna single crochet in each chain until we get to the last one. Okay, did I make it in there? Sometimes it's hard to see where your slip knot is. Okay. All right, so we're single crocheting all the way down until we get to the last one. Two single crochets in the last.
Okay, here we are at the last chain. So two single crochets. Join to your first single crochet, chain one. Now all we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in each stitch around until we get it the length we want. Isn't that easy? So go ahead and uh, you made your chain one and single crochet each stitch around you will join to that try not to snag your yarn like I just did but <laughs> you will join when you get to the end of that round so let me meet you back here and I'm just gonna show you one little thing before I let you um, go ahead and uh, keep crocheting in all of your rounds okay so I've crocheted around this is my second round just want to show you I'm coming to my last stitch I'm making a single crochet and now don't let this confuse you this is not your last stitch this was your joining um, stitch and that was your chain one and we're just gonna slip stitch to join to that first single crochet okay see how that was my joining so don't make an extra stitch you should have if you need to count go ahead and count all your stitches for the first couple rounds um, so you don't get the wrong stitch count. You should have two, 62 single crochets. So then you chain one and you keep going. Um, once your bag, really pretty much after this round, once your tote bag starts to take shape, um, this won't be confusing at all. It will just naturally join, but um, it's trying to curve up right now. So this is kind of far away when you first join it. So don't let it confuse you. Now keep going and I'll meet you at the end of round 32. Okay, let's go ahead and make the handles of our tote bag. You should be at round 32. I'm about to start on round 33 to start the handles. I did make these tote bags a little shorter than my Christmas character ones. You could go ahead and continue to add on rounds to make it taller. You could even have stopped um, short, made it maybe a purse size or even shorter. Whatever you decide is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and join in my yarn chain one and then I'm gonna single crochet in the first 10 stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now we're gonna chain 30 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Okay? It's gonna be your first handle. We're gonna count over 20 stitches. So we're gonna skip 20 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I'm gonna skip the 20 and I'm gonna go ahead and join to my 21st stitch right there. Okay, join with a single crochet. That counts as your first stitch here for a count of 11 single crochets. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're gonna chain 30 again. Okay, this is our second handle. We're gonna skip 20 stitches. 
you actually don't even have to count because there's 21 stitches left. So you're just gonna join with a single crochet to your last stitch right here. Join to your first single crochet and chain one, okay? So here's our two handles. Now, um, easy peasy from here on out, you're just gonna go ahead and single crochet in each stitch around, including all of the chain stitches in your handles. So we'll just get this started. Just crocheting in all of the chains of my handles. You guys see that? Okay, you're just gonna go ahead and do that all the way around. Okay, now keep going all the way, single crochets here, crocheting all these chains single crochet in that last one and join. Do it up one more time for two, um, two rounds of handles. Okay, so at the end of that second round into your handles, it should look like this and you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in ends at this point. Or if you would like to strengthen the handles, please feel free to continue crocheting in rounds. It'll make the handles thicker. You can also go ahead and slip stitch um, right along um, the edges of the top of the handles and around the bag. And then also join in your yarn and slip stitch around the inside part of the handles. Um, so that just looks like this. You just insert your hook slip stitch. You can do that all the way around and this would definitely um, reinforce it and make your handles even stronger and to be honest I feel like it leaves a nice finished edge. So you can decide to do that as well. Um, whatever you'd like. Feel free to kind of put your own twist on these bags. Just like that. Um, and then, of course, when you're working on the other versions, you will uh, switch colors according to the pattern. So, for instance, on the Frankenstein tote, you see that we have a special stitch here, which I'm going to show you next. And uh, you will have started with the green, and then you would have you'll switch colors right here, starting with the special spike stitch, and then continuing with black for the rest of the bag, just as I showed you here. All right, so I have done 25 rounds using green for the Frankenstein uh, tote bag. And I am gonna go ahead and now join in with two strands of black yarn. Okay. We're gonna chain one single crochet in the first stitch and now we're going to do a spike stitch and a spike stitch means instead of just going um, under working under those uh, top loops I'm going to go down a stitch and insert my hook pull up and make my single crochet and you can even I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in the next stitch and do another spike stitch you could even go down two spaces, bring it back up, okay, single crochet in the next, I'm going to do another spike stitch, single crochet in the next, do another spike stitch, okay, just like that all the way around.
Okay, you're just gonna do spike stitches just for this round, and then we're gonna go back to normal um, single crochet stitches. Okay, let's stitch on the Frankenstein mouth. You can do this in any really shape uh, you want. You could do a little squiggle. You could do just a straight mouth. You could do a smile. I'm gonna do a smile. So I'm kind of turning the bag upside down there. I have my tapestry needle and my long strand of black yarn. I'm gonna start by um, reaching into the bag. And I'm going to start right about here. Okay. Pull the yarn, but not all the way. You're gonna to wanna to leave a tail on the inside. And I'm gonna go back in here. Okay, now I'm gonna pop my hook back up here. Back down to connect. Okay, now we have a cute little smile. I'm gonna add in the little edges to the smile just for fun you don't have to do this part okay do the same on this side if you want cute is that all right let's make the jack-o-lantern mouth I know this looks kind of intimidating and confusing so I want to go over this with you now you could use your eye hook I'm actually gonna size down only because I'm using one strand of black yarn for this I'm not doubling up on any of my um, embellishments for these totes so doubling up meaning I'm not using two strands like I did for the main part of the tote bag. So I'm just gonna size down to my um, H hook over here. And uh, to start on the mouth, you are going to chain 24. So slip knot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, now in the fourth chain from hook, so I have one, two, three. Here's my fourth. I know it's black yarn, so it's really hard to see. I'm going to make a double crochet, and then I'm going to double crochet four more times. So there's another one. three and four okay now I'm gonna chain three and I'm just going to slip stitch right at the base of where I made that double crochet okay you're gonna slip stitch in the next four chains two three four okay chain three one two three make three double crochets and your first double crochet is going to be right where that chain three is right there one two and three okay chain three again and join to right where that last chain three is right there Now slip stitch in the next four. One, two, three, four. Chain three. Double crochet and remaining stitches, including that first one where you made that chain three. chain chain three 
join back down to that last chain with a slip stitch. Now we're going to work on the other side of the chain and you're going to make two single crochets in each chain. Just go ahead, two single crochets all the way down. This is what is going to allow your, uh, oop, your smile to curve. Getting to the end here. When you come to the end, you're going to chain two and you're going to join to the top of your starting stitch. Okay? Twist it around. Look at that. So you're going to fasten up, you're going to weave this side in, and then I would leave a long tail so you can um, stitch on your smile right to your tote bag wanted to show you the cute little kitty cat tote bag before I stitch on the ears. So the ears are just very simple triangles, little black triangles, patterns easy. And you are going to sew them on right where the black meets the purple on either side. So as you can see, the tote is actually a very simple pattern. So you're just gonna start with the black uh, for about 21 rounds and then you're going to switch to the purple for the rest of the tote just the same pattern we were using before and then you add your embellishments and you can find the ears and the eyes and the nose and you're just you can sit on a little smile all on repeatcraftermade.com